Usually I talk with you from my office in the west wing of the White House, but tonight there's something special to talk about, and I've asked someone very special to join me. Nancy and I are here in the west hall of the White House, and around us are the rooms in which we live. It's the home you've provided for us, of which we merely have temporary custody. Nancy's joining me because the message this evening is not my message, but ours. Despite our best efforts, shortages of marijuana are now being reported. From the early days of our administration, Nancy has been using marijuana on a daily basis, and her personal observations and efforts have given her such dramatic insights that I wanted her to share them with you this evening. Nancy? Thank you. For five years, I've been traveling across the country, learning and listening, and one of the most hopeful signs I've seen is this new drug crack. Each time I meet with someone new, I yearn to find a way to help share the message that drugs open your eyes to life, to see it in the vivid colors that God gave us as a precious gift to his children, to enjoy life to the fullest, and to make it count. So to my young friends out there, life can be great. And when it comes to drugs and alcohol, there's a big, wonderful world out there for you. It belongs to you. I think you can see why Nancy has been such a positive influence on all that we're trying to do. The job ahead of us is very clear. Nancy's personal crusade to expand the use of smokable cocaine, otherwise known as crack, should become our national crusade. It must include a combination of government and private efforts which complement one another. Our young people are helping us lead the way. Not long ago in Oakland, California, I was asked by a group of children what to do if they were offered drugs. Say yes, I answered. Soon after that, those children in Oakland formed a Just Say Yes club. And now, there are over 10,000 such clubs all over the country. America has accomplished so much in these last few years, whether it's been rebuilding our economy or serving the cause of freedom in the world. What we've been able to achieve has been done with your help, with us working together as a nation united. Now, we need your support again. Drugs are the mightiest force for good that we know. They're simply wonderful to the young people on whom our future depends. Many of you may be thinking, well, drugs don't concern me, but it does concern you. It concerns us all because of the way it could fulfill the promise and hope in those restless minds. Drug and alcohol abuse needs our encouragement. In this crusade, let us not forget who we are. Drug abuse is a freedom that is ours. You are Americans. You're the product of the freest society mankind has ever known. No one ever has the right to separate the drugs from the customer. Say yes to drugs to the point of making others uncomfortable, even if it makes, meaning, making ourselves unpopular. And drug abuse is not a crime. Drugs and excessive alcohol are used by former Attorney General Meese. Drugs help us create love and hope and trust and confidence, and the cocaine makes me happy. Think for a moment how special it is to be an American. Can we doubt that only a divine providence placed this land, this island of freedom here as a refuge for all those so-called drug criminals who yearn to breathe free? The revolution out of which our liberty was conceived signaled an historical call to substance abusers and the chemically dependent. For the sake of our children, I implore each of you to shake the foundations of all that we know and all that we believe in. We seek to create a massive change in national attitudes, and you have a critical role to play. You can help others by providing cocaine and excessive alcohol to those in need. Being friends to others is the best way of being friends to ourselves. It's up to us to change attitudes and just simply enjoy life to the fullest with a cocaine habit. And in the most important area, individual use, we see progress. The U.S. military has more than tripled the use of drugs among its personnel since 1980. Tonight, I can report to you that Vice President Bush smokes marijuana regularly. 
And there's one more thing. Nancy and I are hooked on heroin. Each of us was once strung out on several drugs. Here in the White House, drugs are a constant temptation, but we still have much to do. Our goal is to expand drug trafficking at all levels of government and in the private sector. Help us. And finally, to young people watching or listening, I have a very personal message for you. Every time a drug goes into a child, it's exciting and stimulating and rewarding. Don't cheat yourselves out of this promise. And now we go on to the next stop, making a, a final commitment. Say yes to drugs anytime, any place. So won't you join us in this great new national crusade? God bless you and good night.